Hi, I'm Martha Davis, and we are here at the Bing Lounge on Kink Radio. And these are my pals, Edwin, Mark, and Matt, or Joe, Joey, and Joseph, the Joe Tells. There we go. You see somebody in the crowd, you know? I do, it's Annie. <laughs> hey, Annie, how you doing? Annie and I, we, how many years? Oh, my gosh, since we were kids. Yes. She used to run the Motels fan club. Oh, Her cool. previous husband was the drummer in the original Motels. I'll be darned. So right here in Portland, you ran the fan club from? No, California. Yep. Oh. All right. Well, we got you up here then. Excellent. Good to, good to meet you. Excellent. Good stuff. Well, Martha and the Joe Tells, right? Yep. Where'd you meet the Joes? <laughs> well, this is this, that guy there, whose actual name is Joseph. No, it's Matt, really. Um, he came to, into my life re as recording. He's a producer and an engineer. And we made how many records together? Three records together. And when I was told about this and told that it was more than just coming on a radio show and playing a couple of songs, because this is more than that, um, way more, I called Matt and I said, Matt, I think it would be better if I had like a band. And he goes, and all this happened within the last two days. And as of last night, it changed so much that, anyway, he put together the other, yeah, this, is, this is Mark, otherwise known as Joey. So Joe and Joey. Right. Joe. Joseph. You're yeah, Joseph. Joseph. And that's Joe. <laughs> There's the Joe Tells. Yeah. That's actually Edwin. All right. Over there. So, uh, yeah, just busking on the street. But we, and, these you know? guys came together. I've never even, well, I think I met you once, briefly. briefly. Yeah. So last night we were in the, at Matt's house going, oh, goodness, we should learn this stuff. Oh, that's but listen how great they oh, are. Oh, you guys sounded like you'd been together years. That was great. Thank you. All right, so, of course, tomorrow night your show is at the Alberta Rose Theater. With a whole different set of with boys. With the whole, yeah, with the... With Keep the, the young tests. boys coming. <laughs> so that means you've got, like, 24 hours in our fair city. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't happen often. So, well, now, Annie, you're going to have to show her around, right? No, well, I'm, I, live in, uh, I live here. No way, in Portland. No. Okay, you're North Northwest I live girl. in Deer Island. Oh, good for you. That's <laughs> God's country, isn't it? Yep. I'm good a farmer. Stuff. All right, good. Well, you know, 2014 was a whirlwind for you. Uh -huh. Do you see 15 as continuing on that? But I know you're wanting to write some more music and work on the album. So are you taking some time away from the fans and just going to work on that? Or are we We're trying go to do it all. Hog wild, We're right? trying to do it all. We've actually started the album last year. And actually, Nick, who uh, is producing, co-producing, is coming up uh, around Valentine's Day, I think. And we're going to bring Marty down from Seattle. Marty's back in the band, yeah. who's the original sax and keyboard. So if you come to the show tomorrow night, you'll see old Marty. And um, his sax solos are way better. But he he wasn't with the band for a long time. And the guys that I play with, my new the new band is actually, we've been together almost 12 years. And Marty just joined up a few years back. So he's called the new old guy. Well, good. And I also found out this just by, you know, learning a little bit more instead of just listening to your music and being a fan itself. I had no idea that you had worked with David Fincher on some of those videos that you had done in the past. Oh, yeah. David, when I, I think it was the Shock album, and I wanted to, uh, I saw this, this amazing movie called, I, I don't even know, The Keep or something. And it just had amazing shots in it. And it was like this, I called the agent and I said, who is this director? I really would love to work with him. His name is Michael Mann. And he said, that guy's kind of busy right now. He has this thing called Miami Vice. And uh, he's, he's a little tied up. But there's this young guy, David Fincher. You might want to you might want to check him out. And I met David and I was like, I love him. He's so wonderful. He's just he's so visionary. You've, yeah, well, you've always had a different kind of eye, too. You've always been an artist, in my mind, other than just a medium of music. You've always had that in your videos as well. Yeah, I, I enjoy the, the other, I, all of it, all of it. You know, I wanted to be a painter when I was little, and then this happened, and I don't know. So does the music sound the same, uh, or what are we doing? Do I mean, comes, we are more experienced now. Do we, I mean, your voice sounds as beautiful as ever, isn't that? It's just amazing, so I'm glad, I'm glad you're back out and doing it for us. Thank I know you. it kind of started getting back out with the Go-Go's and everything started yeah. ramping up even more, yeah. um, but it's just great to see you back out. But with the experience, do you find a different music, or you, do you feel something different in the soul? 
Um, no, I've 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 always been before more than anything else just a writer. This is kind of was an accident. I don't know. I think it's because I have Welsh ancestors. I don't know, but um, it's the. It, the new album is, uh, it's just an adventure. What I'm doing in the last couple, I think the the one we worked on that almost killed Matt was called A Beautiful Life, A Slight Miscalculation. <laughs> and um, it's very dark. But I like the idea of albums that are cohesive, that are, you know, it doesn't have to be a concept album, but it needs to have a, a thing to it. And which is tough these days because people just want to buy one song for 99 cents. And I'm like, no, you, I want you to listen to the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I'm working on a bunch of new stuff. In fact, the next song we're going to do is one of the new batch. Well, welcome back, and welcome to Portland Thank again. You. Thank you. Thank you very you. much, and I'm glad you're back. I can't wait. And the DVD, you recorded the Whiskey Go-Go, right? Yes, yes. That and could that's be a hellhole I'm... sometimes. Did you choose that, or somebody else choose the, the Whiskey the Go-Go whiskey for you? The whiskey is great, and it was a hellhole sometimes. But, <laughs> you know, the saddest part about the whiskey to me is that they painted over the signatures I on know. the wall. I couldn't believe they did that. It was like everybody signed those walls. Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, everybody. And so I go back in and, like, they're painted. Oh, yeah. Buddy Guy's Legends kind of did that too, where they had all yeah. the old stuff on the walls for the years and they went over it. It's not, it's not what it's supposed to do. No. So once again, guys, please welcome with me into the Bing Lounge. It's Martha <laughs> Davis and the Joe Tells. <laughs>